And what better way to kick off our two week tour of the country than starting here at the country's National Field Days event. It's about a five day event and I think it attracts about 130,000 people uh, over the course of those five days and what better place to catch up with several of the pioneering manufacturers from New Zealand. So without further ado let's get stuck in, let's get in amongst it, let's get involved and let's see what this country has to offer. So, as pastoral farming techniques and systems get a lot more popular in the UK, I thought it'd be very prudent to come and have a chat with uh, Gallagher Fencing Systems, who do a lot of fencing systems geared up for pastoral systems, to tell us more about what Gallagher's up to, especially in uh, that field. I'm now joined by Mark. Mark? Yeah, here today we're launching quite a few new products um, targeting uh, pastoral agriculture. Uh, and today we've talked about a few of those, particularly our new line post, which is a uh, real cost-effective uh, fencing system um, which is just here behind us and um, the idea of that is um, a post that's got great ground holding, it's perfectly insulating and you can put it in by hand so it saves machinery and all those kinds of things. So. Okay so technically can you just tell us a little bit more about the post or what it's, what it's made of? Yeah sure, uh, so it's, uh, it's got a fiberglass, solid fiberglass core and then it's got an over moulded uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene uh, sheath and that enables us to put a quite a solid foot on it so we can drive it into the ground and get it really good ground holding and it also enables us to um, to put clipping features on it so that we can make it easy to um, attach the wires to the post. Okay and how does this type of post compare to the more traditional wooden stakes and maybe metal posts? Right well the main difference with it is that it's perfectly ins insulating so if you use a steel post of course if you get one fault you've got a short to ground whereas on this post if, if a wire did come off for argument's sake it wouldn't create a short because you've got it's perfectly insulating. It's also flexible so you can see I can move this post and um, so if an animal or if something contacts the fence it's got give and that means that the, the, the fence will last longer and it's more uh, safe for your animals. Okay, and particularly for the UK, what sort of applications would be you would be using this kind of post? And obviously, it's a bit more than just a temporary post. You, you can use it permanently, Absolutely. but you can also reuse it again and again. That's right, that's right. The, one of the key opportunities for, with this post, I think, for the UK is for uh, where you've got smaller land holdings or land holdings that are changing, uh, might be have them for a couple of years. You can actually afford to build a permanent fence that's got good containment and then just simply by hand pull the fence out again. Uh, you need tools, This is don't get me wrong, this, this goes in the ground really well, it, it, like, like a wood post will, it's as good as a wood post in the ground. Yeah. But with a special tool you can remove it by hand and then go and use it somewhere else. So you can actually afford to make that investment. You can also take it home in your car, it's compact, you know. So. You, you can, uh, it's not going to cut the seats or yeah. anything like that, you can use normal transport, you don't have to pay uh, a transporter to shift things around, so it's quite a, quite a change in thinking, but in terms of the total cost of ownership, it, it's giving you a really um, cost effective fencing solution. Okay, so for guys that have got rented land, that may be having to give up that land, move somewhere else, or they're expanding, it's perfect for those kind of guys. Perfect for those kind of guys, yeah. And like if it's flat land, you can, for cattle, you could build a two or three wire cattle fence with a post seven to 12 metres apart. Right. So you don't need very many and you can whack them in by hand. They're in, they're, you can put a post in in, in a, a minute flat and, and clip it on and, and it's straightforward. No tractors, no, you know, it's real, real easy. And for the UK, what sort of post sizes are you doing? So we're doing two sizes for the UK. We're doing a 950 high top wire, which is, and that's for cattle and sheep and goats. And then we're doing a 1350, and that's for the horse market. So, and, and for the horse people, you know, safety is a real concern, and they're having a post with some flexibility and some give, yeah. and a nice, uh, no sharp edges, smooth top, it's critical. And um, so the horse people uh, certainly here and we've exposed it to, they've been quite excited about um, what it can do for them. Okay, and availability wise in the UK, are these available now or when are they coming? They'll be available uh, later this year, they're launching around August, September 2017 um, and there's limited availability, availability will, come, will be coming on stream over the next sort of three to four months so if you're keen you need to yeah. talk to Gallagher pretty, you need to talk to Gallagher pretty quickly, yeah. And for the UK, are you selling these directly in the UK or are you going through a, an importer or anything like that or a distributor? Uh, in the UK, we have our own um, sales team in the UK uh, and all our products are available through our reseller network. So um, yeah, you need to uh, talk to Gallagher and they'll let you know where your nearest uh, reseller is. Okay, Mark, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. <laughs>